Unit 6, Lesson 13. Expressions with Exponents. Number 1. Select all expressions that are equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. B would be equal because that's 3 to the 5th power. C is also equal because that's 3 to the 4th power times 3, which is the same as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and that's 3 to the 5th power. A is not equal because that's just 3 times 5, which is 15. D is not equal, that's just 5 times 3, which is 15. And E certainly isn't equal because that's 5 to the 3rd power and not 3 to the 5th power. Number 2. Noah starts with 0 and then adds the number 5 4 times. Diego starts with 1 and then multiplies by the number 5 4 times. For each expression, Decide whether it is equal to Noah's result, Diego's result, or neither. Noah starts with 0 and then adds the number 5 4 times. That's the same as 5 times 4. And A, 4 times 5, equals 20. So that matches Noah's. B doesn't match with Noah or Diego. That equals 9. C doesn't match with Noah or Diego. That's the same as 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 or 4 to the 5th, and that's 1024, not 20. D, 5 to the 4th power, that matches Diego, because Diego starts with 1 and then multiplies by the number 5 4 times, and 1 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 equals 625. Number 3, decide whether each equation is true or false and explain how you know. A. 9 times 9 times 3 equals 3 to the power of 5. Is that true or false? Let's find out. 9 can be broken down as 3 times 3. The next 9 can be broken down as 3 times 3. And then we can bring the other 3 down to the bottom. And we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is 3 to the 5th power. So that is true. B. 7 plus 7 plus 7 equals 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. That can be broken down as 7 times 3 equals 21 and 3 times 7 equals 21. So this equation is also true. C. 1 7 times 1 7 times 1 7 equals 3 7 this is the same as 1 7 to the power of 3 or 1 7 times 1 7 times 1 7 and that equals 1 over 443 so this equation is false d 4 to the power of 1 equals 4 times 1 well 4 to the power of 1 equals 4 and 4 times 1 also equals 4. So this equation is true. E. 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 6 to the third power. This can be broken down as 6 plus 6 equals 12. Bring down the next 6 and you have 12 plus 6 which equals 18. Or 6 times 3 equals 18. Well 6 to the third power means 6 times 6 times 6. And that can be broken down as 6 times 6 is 36. Bring down the last 6 and you have 36 times 6, which equals 216. Since 18 does not equal 216, this equation is false. Number 4. A. What is the area of a square with side lengths of 3 fifths units? The area of a square is base times height, or in this case, 3 fifths times 3 fifths and that equals 9 20 fifths so the area of the square with side lengths of 3 fifths units is 9 20 fifths units squared b what is the side length of a square with an area of 1 16th square units well if the area is 1 16th square units the base and the height, when multiplied, would have to equal 1 16th squared units. So what number times itself equals 1 16th? How about 1 4th? 1 4th times 1 4th equals 1 16th. So the side lengths would be 1 4th unit.
C. What is the volume of a cube with edge lengths of two-thirds units? Well, now we're finding the volume of a cube. And the volume formula is base times height times length. Or in this case, two-thirds times two-thirds times two-thirds. And two times two times two is eight. Three times three times three is 27. So the volume of this cube would be eight twenty-sevenths units to the third power, or eight over 27 units cubed. D, what is the edge length of a cube with a volume 27 over 64 cubic units? Well again, the volume of a cube is base times height times length, and this volume is 27 over 64. So we know that base times height times length equals 27 over 64. So what number multiplied by itself three different times equals 27, and what number multiplied by itself three different times equals 64? How about three times three times three equals 27, and four times four times four equals 64? So the edge length would be three-fourths of a unit. Number five, select all the expressions that represent the area of the shaded rectangle. The dimensions for the shaded rectangle are three times 10, and the dimensions for the rectangle that I've highlighted in red is three times C. If we remove the rectangle three times C from rectangle three times 10, we would have the area of the shaded rectangle. Expression A would work, that's three times 10 minus C, and expression E would work. That's 30 minus 3C. Number six. A ticket at a movie theater costs $8.50. One night, the theater had $29,886 in ticket sales. A. Estimate how many tickets the theater sold. Explain your reasoning. $8.50 is pretty close to $10, so we'll just call it $10 and $29,886 is pretty close to $30,000, so we'll just call that $30,000. $30,000 divided by $10 equals 3,000. They sold about 3,000 tickets that night. Another way to do that division problem would be to make the 30,000 10 times smaller, which would be 3,000, and make the 10 10 times smaller, which would be one. Then you have 3,000 divided by one which is also 3,000, representing the number of tickets that they sold that night. B. How many tickets did the theater sell? Explain your reasoning. 29,886 divided by $8.50 is 3,516 tickets. The exact amount of tickets that they sold that night was 3,516. Number seven, a fence is being built around a rectangular garden that is eight and a half feet by six and one third feet. Fencing comes in panels. Each panel is two thirds of a foot wide. How many panels are needed? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, I have here the length of eight and a half feet represented in green and the length of six and one third feet represented in red. 8.5 plus 8.5 equals 17 feet. Since the panels are two-thirds of a foot wide, we need to divide 17 by two-thirds. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal of two-thirds. So 17 times 3 halves equals 51 halves. And 51 halves equals 25 and 1 half. For the two green sections, we would need a total of 25 and a half panels. Now for the two red sections. 6 and 1 third plus 6 and 1 third equals 12 and 2 thirds. So 12 and 2 thirds divided by 2 thirds. That's the same as 38 thirds divided by 2 thirds. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal of 2 thirds. 38 thirds times 3 halves equals 19 over 1 or 19. The two red sections would total 19 panels. Let's add the panels needed for the green and red sections together. 25 and 1 half plus 19 equals 44 and one half panels total. So she'd need 45 whole panels in order to build her garden. 
she would just have a half a panel left over. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 6, Lesson 13, Expressions with Exponents. <laughs>